Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be discussing how to divide fractions, and specifically dividing fractions by fractions. And as you can see, there are four problems on your screen. We're going to solve these four problems together, and I would highly suggest that you write them out with me. But if you just want to watch, that's fine too. At the top of your screen, you see the words keep, switch, flip. These are the steps to dividing fractions, and you need to keep that in mind as we go through these four problems. Let's jump right in to number one. We have two thirds divided by one third. So let's take a look at our steps for dividing fractions. And the first step is keep. So that means we're going to keep our first fraction as is, as we write, rewrite this problem. So two thirds. Next, we have switch, which means we are going to switch this division sign to multiplication. So we're actually going to do the opposite of division. And then lastly, we have flip. So we're going to flip that last fraction, or sometimes you hear it called the reciprocal, and that just means flipping the fraction. So the three is now the numerator, and the one is now the denominator. So three over one. So that's how we set up our problem now we just multiply straight across. Two times three is six, and three times one is three. So our answer is six thirds, or six over three. But that's an improper fraction, meaning the numerator, the top number, is greater than the denominator. So we do not want to leave it like that. So we need to convert it to a whole number or mixed number. So we need to divide our numerator, six, by the denominator three. So how many whole groups of three can we pull out of six? And the answer to that is two. Now there's no remainder or anything left over, so we get a whole number for our quotient or answer to that division problem. So there you have it, keep, switch, flip. So let's take a look at number two. One half, keep, switch to the opposite of division, multiplication, and then flip. Now we can multiply straight across. One times five is five, two times two is four. So we ended up with an improper fraction again, so we need to convert it to a whole number or mixed number. So we need to divide the numerator by the denominator. Five divided by four. How many whole groups of four can be pulled out of five? And the answer to that is one. Now for this one, we have something left over. If we pull a group of four out of five, we have one left over, and then we keep this denominator the same. So I'm gonna repeat that one more time. We did five divided by four is one whole here. We got one left over, remainder one, and then we keep our denominator the same. So one and one fourth for number two. Number three, keep two eighths. Switch and flip. And now we go straight across. Two times four is eight. Eight times one is eight. So we get eight eighths. And whenever you have the same number on top, the numerator, as you do the denominator, it's actually one whole. Think about it, eight divided by eight, and we get one whole. So number four, we have five sevenths divided by three fourths. So steps, keep, switch, flip. 5 times 4 is 20, and 7 times 3 is 21. Now that's a proper fraction. We have a numerator that is less than the denominator. So we can see if we uh, can simplify that fraction 
but actually the only common factor, the greatest common factor between 20 and 21 is one. So this fraction is simplified. We are done. 20 over 21. So there's dividing fractions. Just keep, switch, flip, and then take a look at your answer. Do you need to simplify your answer? Do you need to convert it to a whole number or mixed number? And uh, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.